Hello students, uh, in this video we will be discussing EMI from HC Verma and objective 1. So let's start with the first question. In first question there is a rod of length L which is rotating in a small but uniform angular velocity uh, which is perpendicular to its uh, length and about an axis which is along perpendicular bisector. So uh, magnetic field is parallel to the axis and we have to find the potential difference between center and the rod and okay so let's take a look at the diagram this is the rod this is rotating and the magnetic field is also parallel to the magnetic axis so field lines will cut and uh, for these type of situations in which some conductor is rotating in a uniform magnetic field a famous expression for EMF is given which is B omega by 2 x2 square minus x1 square where x1 and x2 are the distance of the points from the axis of rotation in this case and is at a distance L by 2 from the axis and center is at a zero distance from the axis so x2 will be L by 2 and x1 will be 0 so we get this in the next question it is being asked that what is the potential difference between two ends of the rod okay so in the same uh, other data is exactly same as question number one so in that you have to find what is the potential difference between these two points between the two ends so both the ends are at a distance l by 2 from the axis so x1 and x2 both are l by 2 it doesn't matter whether they are plus l by 2 or minus l by 2 because by squaring them we can neglect their signs so b omega by 2 this square minus the same square will give you 0 we can say all the points which are equidistant from the axis have same potential or potential difference between them will be 0 the next question uh, question number 3 there is a situation in which there is a loop in which a battery is connected and switch can be closed or can be open so and a small coil is placed outside the loop so what will happen when the switch is closed and after some time it is opened again so we have to verify what will how the induction will take place in this coil so let's look at the diagram so when the switch is just closed the current will suddenly increase and because of that the magnetic field due to this current will be into the plane of paper which is uh, sorry out of the plane of paper so it will also increase because the current is increasing again I am saying external field is because of this current so at this point this will be out of the plane of paper so it will also increase hence to oppose that induced magnetic field should be into plane of paper and I induced when the switch is just close will be clockwise with the help of right hand rule and when the switch is opened again after a long time the current will decrease suddenly hence this magnetic field which is because of this current will decrease suddenly and the same uh, uh, in the same direction it means in the outward direction B induced will establish and the current will be then in anti-clockwise direction and in the next part we have to find what will happen if the loop is placed somewhere here inside completely enclosed by the circuit or inside this loop so what will be the changes the B due to this current at this point is nothing but into the plane of paper so all the effects as the B external or B due to the current in the circuit was out of the plane of paper in this diagram and at this point it is into the plane of paper so every effect will change when the switch is just closed current will suddenly increase B external which is into the plane of paper will increase B induced will be uh, out of the plane of paper so the current will be anti-clockwise and vice versa in the next question there is a bar magnet which is released from rest along the axis of a very long 
uh, vertical copper tube after some time what will happen to the magnet we have to comment on its motion so as the magnet will fall down uh, because of gravity its ex, uh, its velocity will gradually increase so we can say uh, till the moment velocity increases its opposition or induction the rate of induction will also increase so opposition will also increase and as the metallic tube is large enough we can say it will attain a terminal constant velocity as its speed increases opposition caused by induced current will also increase till they nullify the effect of gravity okay the next question there's a, a small ring which is placed near a solenoid and uh, what will happen as the switch is closed because uh, as the switch is closed the magnetic field or the current in the solenoid will suddenly increase because of that the flux through the ring will also increase and to oppose that increase in flux the ring will try to move in the opposite direction or we can say it will try to move uh, away from the solenoid so it will move away from the solenoid irrespective of the uh, terminal the battery is connected to the solenoid because lenz's law says whenever flux increases uh, the coil will move to a region in which flux will be less in question number seven there are two statements emf can be induced by moving a conductor in magnetic field obviously if a conductor cuts the magnetic field lines induced emf will be there and emf can also be induced by changing magnetic field yes so both the statements are true okay in the next question there's a situation the wire AB slides on the fixed rail with a constant velocity if this wire AB is replaced by a semicircular wire. Okay, what will happen to the induced current uh, with respect to the initial case? So, if uh, the wire is replaced by a semicircular wire having the same effective length and EMF induced is dependent on just the effective length or the length between the two conductor end of the conductor so we can say the emf will remain same as the resistance will also be same so the induced current will also be same okay in the next question there's a conducting loop which is being pulled out of the magnetic field with a speed v so uh, which of the uh, four plot shown in the figure may represent the power delivered by the pulling agent as a function of speed V so as we can say uh, EMF induced will be proportional to V it will be simply BVL so the current EMF produced in the loop will be BVL and the current will be BVL by R and F on a conductor in magnetic field is ILB where I is this current because of induction so F is proportional to V and power is nothing but FV so power will be proportional to V square again power is a proportional to V, v square so uh, power and velocity will have a parabolic graph out of these four options this is the only a parabolic graph P on Y axis and V on x axis y equal to x square as p is proportional to v square so the option b will be the suitable answer if it would have been what is a graph for force versus velocity it would have been a okay then in the next question there are two circular loops of equal radii placed coaxially at some separation and the first is cut and a battery is inserted in it and uh, because of uh, variation in resistance with temperature what will happen to the two loops whether they will attract or repel each other so we can say with the increase in uh, with time as the heat will evolve out of the wire because of that joules heating temperature of the wire will increase hence resistance will also increase so the current in the wire will increase or oh, decrease current in the wire 
or the loop will decrease hence the coil will try to move closer to each other so they will attract each other in the next question in the next question there is a small conducting circular loop which is placed inside a long uh, solenoid which is carrying some current the plane of the loop contains the axis of the solenoid the line is very important and if the current in the solenoid is varied what will happen to the induced current in the loop how the induction will take place in the loop so we can say this is a solenoid and this is the axis of the solenoid the ring is such that that the axis lies in the plane of the ring and the magnetic field due to solenoid is parallel to the axis so there will be no flux that will pass through the ring so the flux will remain zero no matter what the magnitude of current or magnitude of field inside the solenoid so the flux is not changing through the coil hence there will be no induced emf in the coil in the last question there is a square loop which is moving inside the magnetic field region again it is completely inside the magnetic field region and we have to find uh, that uh, how the current will induce in the loop as there is no change in flux because the loop is completely inside the magnetic field and it remain inside the magnetic field for this instant also for some time after this instance also so we can say there will be no induced emf hence no induced current thank you